Assumptions about the death of Ms. Banfield have people reacting without relying on the facts. This is the feeling of President of the Single Fathers Association, Rondell Fields. He says no statements have been released yet on whether her death was accidental or a murder. If they do find people that committed an offense, they must know particularly what offense they are going to charge for so that these people just don't walk away. As I said, I just think the nation or ourselves need to be patient. The results were inconclusive and they were ordered another one. Let us wait and hear before we join all these groups that sometimes push these things at other families' misfortune. The calls on social media for a boycott of I Am and Company, Mr. Fields, believe are unwarranted. Where they emanated from, I cannot see. So I can't call or say I support anything to boycott anyone. As I said, I think it's too early. We need to wait, we need to have more information, and then make the relevant call. Because we don't want other information coming out, and then the call becomes a baseless and useless call. Let's wait for the autopsy and see if it can bring to life any more facts. That is what we need in this issue. Facts to prove the cause of death for this young lady. One of the persons interest or persons of interest in the case, Matthew Mirage, was released from police custody while the other man remains in custody.